Hello again, this is Cullum Gibney. I'd uh, like to propose something. Forget uh, trying to photograph and record boats going over the horizon. Let's try catching a plane going over the horizon. No, that's impossible. Yes, and we might be thinking for different reasons. Now, a modern airliner, quite big when you, quite big they are when you're standing beside them. They get pretty small as they go off into the distance. But thanks to the to today's technology, they're able to drag a big white marker behind them so that you can keep your eye on them for longer. How long is the question and that is the challenge. In this uh, very poorly shot video, I got this plane passing directly overhead and I am following him uh, for as far as I can. Now, in the challenge to make this count, we're going to need to have the flight tracking data with uh, the video. I'm not sure how the best way to do that is. Maybe have a, I don't know, one split screen or... Anyway, that's something that can be worked out. Now, in this video that I shot, just to give you an idea of the challenge, uh, it's quite simple, although I wasn't very good at it because I was trying to hold an umbrella at the same time as operate the camera. The sun was burning the neck off me and um, yeah the, my tripod isn't great uh, I actually lost sight of this plane at the end because the tripod got uh, kicked and I couldn't zoom back in on it but uh, it, you can see that it is still a good distance above the horizon. So this this video clip is sixteen over sixteen minutes long. So I I had my camera on this guy for sixteen minutes. Now if we average eight miles a, a minute, that would put him at one hundred and twenty eight miles. Now. Eight miles a minute is quite conservative. Conservative, it can be up to ten and even above ten, which would put about one hundred and sixty miles and still well clear of the horizon. If, for example, somebody could record a plane flying at ten miles per minute at 600 miles an hour or thereabouts <laughs> um, at a cruising altitude of five miles would mean that after 20 minutes the plane would be 200 miles distance distant and the plane should be crossing the horizon so Given that I managed managed um, to catch this guy for 16 minutes, I'd like to know how what potential uh, there is to keep him longer. So I'll just skip ahead. Um, Now, I something strange happened here. 
because yeah, there's another uh, another jet. Now, this is the guy as following, and this is the other jet. Now, because of the the sunlight, I you'll see I can't I started following the wrong guy. Uh, for a while, but I managed to get him back. Uh, yeah. That's not him now. That's the, that's the wrong guy. Uh, there we go, the big kick. That's the wrong guy there on the right. And you could see the, the, sorry. Okay, so this is the wrong guy. And I'm still on him. So, oh, oh. <laughs> It's the right guy here. This is the correct guy. Now, it's somewhere at this point where, yeah, bad kick and I, I tried to focus uh, back in on him. I couldn't, but there he is. There he is there. He's up there and there's the horizon. So... <sighs> Yeah, there's the, that's the challenge. Try and do better than I could. Shouldn't be hard. Um, it might prove a thing or two. And uh, I think it's certainly worth a bit of discussion. So I'll leave it at that and I hope to hear from you soon and maybe see some results in the near future. All the best for now. Peace.